Now, you know, obviously we're here to speak about somebody by the name of Muhammad Amwazi, who I've known since um, the summer of 2009. Muhammad, I want to tell you about him first, before anything else. You, you might be surprised to know that the Muhammad that I knew was extremely kind, extremely gentle, extremely soft-spoken, was the most humble young person that I, I knew. You know, you're, we're going to release all the emails that I exchanged, that we exchanged with Anna. We received consent from the family to do so. And what you'll see when you read those emails is somebody who, despite going through great difficulties in his personal life, he belittled that difficulty in the sense that he would say to me, write to me things like, I know you're dealing with very, very big cases, important cases, where there's human rights catastrophes taking place. But if you've, if you've even got a small amount of time, even if you've got a little bit of time just to work on my, my situation, I would really appreciate it. This is the kind of person that we're talking about. The kind of person who would turn up at Cage's offices with some posh baklava, you know, just because he said, you know, like I was thinking about you guys, you'd been doing a little bit of work for me and I just wanted to say thank you. You know, this is the kind of person that we're talking about. So this is why when, you know, when I'm asked, is the person that you see on those videos the same as the person you remember, Muhammad Amwazi? It's difficult for me to say that, yes, these two people are exactly the same. Because there's one character that I remember, one person I remember, one young, kind person that I remember, and then I see that image, and there doesn't seem to be a correlation between the two. And even, you know, maybe I think we want to clarify that the Washington Post kind of recorded my, my comments incorrectly. While I think that there are some striking similarities between the young man that I remember and the person we see in the video, I can't be 100% certain. He's got a hood on. Come on, guys. <laughs> you know, the guy's got a hood on his head. It's very, very difficult. 